and on Makeup with Melanin. This is today's look. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, make sure that you stay tuned. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. You do not want to miss out on all the amazing content that I have coming soon. Make sure you give my video a thumbs up and leave some feedback down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, y'all. First things first, y'all know that we have to go ahead and clean our face. That is the first thing you should do before you ever start doing your makeup. Alright y'all, next we're going in with our e.l.f. poreless face primer and you just need two dabs of that and then we'll go ahead and rub that in. Y'all, next we're going to go ahead in and do our eyebrows. So we're using our LA Girl brow pencil in the color black right there. That will be linked below in the description. After you go ahead and draw your eyebrows out the way that you want it, we're going to go ahead in with our e.l.f. concealer, hydrating satin finish to go ahead and outline that. So right there you see that I'm brushing out the front portion of the eyebrow just to kind of lighten that up a little bit. Um, and when you have your whole eyebrow black completely, it kind of eliminates the whole natural look. So I'm just going in and making sure the shape is exactly what I want to and then we're going to conceal. Alright, so now that we have our concealer already around our eyebrows, we're going to use a wet beauty blender and we're just going to go ahead and dab that in to blend everything out. All right, now that we have everything blended out, we're going in with our Hermosa Beauty palette and we're going to start off using a light purple eyeshadow. So that light purple color that we chose is going to be the base color for our eyeshadow look today. So we're just going to go in and dab that all over our eyelids. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the other eyelid off camera and when I come back, we're going to transition into our next color. For our next color, we are using that dark purple right there. We're just going to pack that into our crease and we'll come back and blend that out later. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this other eye off camera and we'll be back with the next step. So right now you'll see that I'm just using this big powder brush to dab off all the excess eyeshadow that has landed on my face. Here I have my e.l.f. concealer in the color Deep Cinnamon and we're just going to use that today to go ahead and do our cut crease. Y'all already know how I feel about cut crease, but I started doing the little thing that you just saw where I put a dab on there and just look up. And then that kind of creates that line for me as to where the crease will be and I just follow that along the rest of the way and that makes things like 10 times easier. All 
right y'all so we basically have one eye done we want to go ahead off camera finish the other eye and I will be right back all right we're going back in with our Hermosa Beauty palette and we're just going to use that lighter purple color that we had earlier and just fill it in the back portion of our cut crease just to eliminate that jagged line at the end so everything is smoothed out Alright, so taking our Hermosa Beauty palette again, we're going to go in with the color white and just fill in the remainder of our cut crease. I don't know if y'all can tell, but honey, this was the hardest part of the entire makeup look. Just getting this white eyeshadow to even stick to the concealer for some reason was so hard. I'm not sure if it's the color or if it was the way I was doing it or partially that the concealer was not fully dry, but I was struggling, okay? Right, so this is how both eyes are looking. We're gonna go back in with that powder brush and just fan off the excess white eyeshadow. All right, honey, now it is time for my favorite part of this look, which is this pink glitter. Well, it's pink and purple. It's really pretty. It's actually little stars. I doubt that you guys will be able to see that, but we're going to just go ahead and dab that in. Um, I'll let you guys see that, and I'll just speed it up a little bit. We have finished one eye, now we're going to go in with the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, this is how our makeup is looking after we put glitter on both eyes. Now we're going in with our e.l.f. liquid liner and we're just going to apply that to both eyes. Right, now that we have liner applied to both eyes, we're going in with our Lash Renegade Mascara from Wet n Wild and just brushing that over our natural lashes so that when we put our falsies on, everything will blend in. Alright y'all, now we're going in with our lashes. You already know for me a look is not complete until you have put your lashes on. We're going to use our strip lash adhesive and now I'm just going to go ahead and place that and I'll be right back after I place the other eye. Y'all, I had technical difficulties with these lashes but now we are back and better. We're going to go ahead in with our foundation. Today we're using our e.l.f. Flawless Foundation in the color 560 Chocolate. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and squeeze two pumps of that on our face and then later on we'll hit our forehead with some. We're going to go in with our wet e.l.f. total face sponge and just dab all of that in to blend it out. Y'all, the coverage with this foundation is phenomenal. Not to mention that the foundation, I believe, is only like $6, so that makes everything just 10 times better. Listen, when I say do not sleep on, I'm going to keep saying it, do not sleep on e.l.f. products. Do not sleep on e.l.f. products. You see the coverage? Honey, listen. Alright, back at it again with the Hydrating Satin Finish e.l.f. Concealer in the color deep cinnamon so we're going to go right up under our eyes in an outward motion um, we're going to actually go in an upward motion on the corner of our eye and do that to the opposite side and then we're going to dab a little on our chin right down the middle of our nose and then we're going to make that V on the top of our forehead and 
for some reason I decided to be extra and put a couple dots there I always feel like that portion of my face is just a little bit darker than others so I was hoping that my concealer would kind of lighten that up a little bit for me all right so we're going in with our total face sponge from elf I will have that link below in the description we're just right now dabbing all of that makeup in and blending everything out um, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and stop talking and I'll be right back I brought these cute little sponges from my five below nearby and I just love them so much I feel like that sponge makes it ten times easier to get that inner eye portion so if you don't have any smaller sponges and you struggle with dabbing everything in with just the beauty blender that may be something that you should try so now that we have concealed everything we're going in with our 16 hour camo concealer in the color rich ebony y'all already know I'm not the best at contour I know that your forehead is naturally just a little bit darker than the rest of your face so we're dabbing some on our forehead and then along our cheekbones we'll blend that in and I'll be right back We have everything blended in. We're going in with our powder. This one is Fit Me in the color Dark. And next we have NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It in the color, I believe, Medium. Now this, um, personally, is something else that I feel like is definitely not mandatory. I just don't feel like you have to use powder. Um, sometimes I don't use powder and the makeup looks comes out just fine. It stays on my face. There's no issues later. I have yet to find the color that I feel like matches me perfectly so you see I kind of go in with both colors sometimes and just kind of blend that in and then wash it off later but the whole issue with powder for me is that sometimes it comes off and you just look very ashy and I mean who wants to be walking around looking like Casper the friendly ghost I mean that's just not a cute look so we have finished with our powder and now we're going in with our elf matte and mist setting spray i will have that link below in the description you most definitely do not need that much but honey i'm just extra we debated this step um for a minute after i finished my makeup but i was like you know what why not i will have that lipstick linked down below um we're going in with that purple and we're just going to use that to kind of outline our lips Alright y'all, so next we're going in with our e.l.f. Day and Night and we're going to use the color Day right on the inner portion of our lip and then we're just going to blend that out and add a little bit more purple to get that to the desired look that we want. So I'm just going in with a makeup brush and just kind of blending that purple downwards. It wasn't working with me just doing my lips so I ended up adding a little bit more of the purple with that brush to get the look that I wanted. Okay, y'all already know we had to go in with our NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. That is like my favorite gloss ever. We're just going to dab some of that right in the middle and then just kind of rub that in to give your lips that extra pop. Alright guys, this video is definitely coming to an end. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Make sure to give my video a thumbs up. Leave some feedback down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.